idle threats involving fire and her impious satin sheets. She took them quite seriously and is avoiding me. I want to meet with her and explain that they were said in the heat of the moment. I asked her to meet me at the Surfside Diner to reconcile, but I'm busy with the club and my other endeavors. I'd like you to go to the diner and promise her that I don't plan to take any action against her. Wait for her in the back booth near the phones. All right. All right. If the Baron of Santa Monica wants her sister back, I will get her sister all back. Unwholesome diversions and irritating disruptions. I should be less tolerant of her. She is my sister, however, and I suppose I'm obligated to forgive her her trespasses. I did sire her after all. Please, be quick about it. Oh, did you get that lore? She. I did. She made her sister. Into a vampire. All right, Into so we're going to Seaside a Diner. A vampire. Vampire. Uh, no clue what's going to happen when we get to that diner. <laughs> it's it's going to be a trap. That's going to set a trap. Yeah, hey look, it's right across the street. There uh, you yeah. go. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think we'd get there so soon. I did not either. Really? Hmm. <laughs> You guys are so inconspicuous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's like sit down or something. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm coming after you. <laughs> oh man! Like. Why can I not? Fucking... Five frames a second over here. Oh my god, I cannot feed on these guys no matter what. Oh man. Why am I unable to feed on Are you? Are you sure? Maybe it's just because you're, you're in this mode right now. Yeah, maybe it was that. It was that? Yeah, I think it was that. <laughs> well, there you go. Alright. Nice. Ooh, shotgun! No wonder I took damage. <laughs> I gained a Utica yeah, M. There we go. Hey, he picked up the phone. I'm terribly sorry. About Hello. You. My sister was just furious about your refusal to take part in her design, so she sent those men to kill you. So I'm going to make sure it never happens again. Stop by. We'll take care of it. <laughs> She's crazy. Help! <sighs> okay. Okay, so... Mm. <clears throat> what animal would just put their half piece of pizza on the friggin' table like that? <laughs> well, there's a fry just over there, too. And nobody even touched that burger. And I'm gonna say that it's a fry. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna say it's a fry, too. Hey, you okay? You doing good? Alright. Good talk. You There's clean some blood up there, you me. moan to clean it up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not cleaning that up. And my job. Oh, man. No, I don't need a date. Is everybody asking me to buy prostitutes? <laughs> Just buy a prostitute, man. I don't need to buy. I don't get anything except for the blood from them. I give them the suck. They don't give me the suck. Yeah, but they make they make you feel good, right? Eh. <laughs> Nothing I can't do to myself. Anyways. <laughs> Suck my 
I was gonna say something, like, I can do it myself. <laughs> Alright, what's going on? You. I'm really Let's... sorry it had to end this way. I truly am. You seem promising. So you remember that I told you that they're Malkavian? And now I'm going to make sure uh -huh. she never double crosses me again. Don't listen to her. She'll kill us both. Save me and I'll help you. Oh. I swear. Shut up, Jeanette. I warned you to stay away from Tom. So you oh. remember that I said that she's freaking Malkavian? Yeah, and Malkavians are all about that. madness. I didn't want it to end like this, but you, yeah. you never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? <laughs> <laughs> all right. What the so, hell is going on here? Uh, all right. <laughs> Isn't it Go on. No, I didn't expect I'm that. That's pretty good. This deviant, backstabbing whore. Do you realize that despite her condition, she still fornicates with kind, no less. So despicable. <laughs> so unclean. You're one to talk, dear sister. Or should I say, daddy's little girl? Do you want to know just how depraved the Baron of Santa Monica can be? Shut up. You love the world to think you're a oh saint. Oh my God! When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear Father come in at night. I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear before he. Don't finish that sentence, or you're dead. <sighs> okay. Yeah. So you're saying who do I prefer? Yeah. <laughs> oh God. I don't know. This is all you, man. Do a coin flip or something. <laughs> <laughs> Too heavy for you? I have no idea. It's too heavy now that they're talking about father sneaking in at night. Fine. I flipped a coin. Go on, Jeanette. Go on, Jeanette. Had his way with you. And he didn't have to force you. You went limp and became his plaything. Do you think I didn't hear it? Night after night? Always the obedient daughter until... Shut up. Just shut up! How you feeling? <laughs> feeling good about this situation? I don't know if I'm feeling too good about it. Alright. You know, I make a choice, I gotta commit. So go on? Go on! Would you like to tell the story? <laughs> she makes herself out to be the virgin queen of the night, pious as a nun, stable as the Earth's orbit. But it's on act, isn't it? I'm the good girl. You're the wicked one. You've done <laughs> nothing but plot against me when I had our best interests at heart. Uh, oh, so man. uncomfortable. I've always covered up your mistakes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me? Taking care of me. You've done nothing but keep me down. Blame me for every mistake. Did you expect me to let I'm you ruin my life until the end of time? No, more. <laughs> no sister. You've had it coming since our last sunrise. Is that right, dear? If it wasn't for me, you would have never survived this long. Remember? They tried to separate us, but I refused. I chose this life and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. Now, there's many ways that you can think of this. One, she's just uh, crazy. Yeah. Two, she fused with her sister. Oh. Three, she never had a sister or whatever, and that painting is a lie. Four, she used to have a sister, and then she, like, died, and then she broke. Uh, yeah, she went crazy. And... Or maybe she was crazy before uh, <sighs> she became a Malkavian. Yeah, and that just made it worse. Uh... Oh, man. All right. That doesn't give you the right to tell her what to do. She's a control freak. People, things, emotions. If she can't control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in for the night. Oh, God. When you're stuffed and bored, you bite the hand that fed you. Oh, God. You're right, Jeanette. Therese tried to have me killed. <laughs> you chose it with that coin flip. Therese will never let I you live. So. You disappointed her. I used you, yes, but I didn't try to have you killed. Therese has no problem with killing, do you? 
Remember father? Father loved me. I was a good girl. <laughs> I always did what I was told. Oh, Here we go again. Look how so awkward it became in this playthrough. Oh yeah. Daughter to him. Uh, what happened to your father, Jeanette? Father came home drunk one day and mistook me for Therese. Because I'd fallen asleep in her bed. Don't listen to her. She's lying. Therese walked in while he was there. Nice trigger and discipline. She saw me lying with him, and so she went to the closet and pulled out his hunting shotgun, loaded it with deer shot, and blew his mind out all over the silly clown wallpaper. That's a lie. Father killed himself because of Jeanette. She made him miserable. <laughs> As I recall, he died with a smile oh, on his face. I can't believe you killed your own father, Therese. The police sure did. <laughs> they broke us up for a little while, remember? The first thing you did after your escape was find me. Enough! Don't say another word about that. So, sweet sister, is this how it has to end? I admit, I always knew this night might come. Well, any message you want me to give father? An apology? A love letter? Okay, so... Here's the thing. We don't have the prerequisites to save them both. Yeah. So, Malkavian run, we're gonna save them both. Okay. <clears throat> but... Uh, grab the gun, Jeanette! <laughs> Therese is dead. I didn't want her to go. <laughs> I only wanted her to change. <laughs> you understand, don't you? Oh, man. Poor, poor Therese. You wanted to find Bertram. He's at the old gas station in an empty oil tank. He'll help you because I'll ask him to. But you must keep your tongue tied tight about what happened this night. Understand? I understand. Don't to come see me once in a while. I'm going to be so lonely without Therese. I mean... I may need someone like you sometime, and I do get bored so easily. Maybe you could come. I got by so much experience. <laughs> this quest log updated over and over again. I'll come back. I promise. Oh, Goodbye. Okay. All right. So yeah. All right, all right, crazy. We'll see you later. All right. You know how we were like, don't stick it in there. Don't stick it in, crazy. Yeah. I disagree. Because yeah. <laughs> what is she going to do? Our main <laughs> character, Coon. I have all the power. <laughs> There's no re way that she can beat me. I'm going to get down. <laughs> yeah. That was... <laughs> we need this now. After all that just uh. happened. Super awkward. All right, this is how we end awkward sessions. <laughs> All right. Is that the session? No, okay. that wasn't the session. <laughs> that was a session of awkwardness. Yes, but no, just a session of awkwardness. <laughs> oh man. All right, I need to drop another save. Drop another save real quick. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Alright, there we go. <laughs> uh <laughs> now I'm at a complete loss of what to do. Uh uh. A feud has been called off. Tongue is in hiding in an oil tank not far from the asylum. You must meet with him and get him to show you a way to the warehouse so that the explosives can be set. Okay. Okay, we need to get rid of this astrolite. It's been, it's been yeah. out of my pocket we for way to too long. I'm tired of carrying it around. <laughs> That not it? Oh, there we go. There. There it is. There it is. Like he lives in here. Did I? Did I tell you about that person who uh, who couldn't play Borderlands because there was too many quests. 
No, you didn't. Yeah, I don't remember the context of why, but this person... Something Look about their... The way they looked at video games. Hey, look, it's Bertram Tong and his big friggin' Rocky Dennis face. <laughs> I've gotten good at knowing when I'm Oh my god, I just keep getting more experience. Yeah. I want an only. But don't bother with the introductions, Fledgling. I know who you are. Awesome. Cool. I like your smile. News travels down the Kendrick Lake <laughs> fine like wildfire. And that courtroom spat. Like, would it kill? Rodriguez is a juice. A Nosferatu to go to a dentist. Um, interesting. I would. Yeah. I would hate to be a Nosferatu. Yeah. I'm way too Especially vain. Especially this one. Look at this friggin' head. It's got oh, nipples all over it. You did, did you? He does. So why did you need to find me? What did you need? Like, like, do you think if somebody was to just accidentally tap on one of those things on his head, it would just squirt milk? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, never mind. The warehouse, though. It like, might not even be place. milk, though. The Sabbat has a bunch of low-life yeah, humans working there. It definitely is not. Stuff through there. Okay, can you see why I said that they on. are dirty, though? Yeah. It, it's not a it's not a a clansist thing that Therese was going on about. <laughs> They're just dirty. <laughs> the unclean. Oh man. Uh, right, but can you get me yes, inside? Just tell me when you're ready and we'll leave. Once you're there, however, you're on your own. You'll have to get into the place and plant the explosives in the middle office to take the whole structure down. All right. I was born ready. Let's go. <laughs> go. Yeah, this is going to go hey, terrible. Uh, that person was talking about, oh, yeah, I played it. I stopped playing it because there was just too many quests that started happening. It's like, the, just fucking tackle them one at a time. What the hell's wrong with you? Depending on how many quests there are in a thing. game, I, I'll get uh, bored with not with uh, not doing the story missions, and I won't do I won't do side quests if I don't do them before the story quests. Um, well, it's just I don't, that was their explanation. So like, ah, I started it, but there was gave me too many quests, so I stopped. It's like just like it tells you kind of an area general direction you're supposed to go and if it's not close by then do the ones closest and then do the farther ones yeah and I can't I can't remember why that started in the first place why I found that person I hope you don't mind, but I need to get past you. I probably could have just left him because he was just going to take a pee. Yeah. Alright, so this is going to be a stealth mission. Is it? Yeah. Because I You're think that if you do this... Stealthy. I think that if you do this stealthy, then, then you get extra experience, but I'm not sure. Oh, I've got I've got twelve experience points after all that crap. You sure do. <laughs> uh, so I kind of want. Should we get the wolves? <laughs> if you want the wolves, It'd probably be better than the bees. The bees. All right, let's get the wolves. Let's try the spectral wolf out next time I see someone. <laughs> uh, there you go. Alright, that was pretty cool. <laughs> that was way better than that bee thing. He is floating. Yeah, the burrowing beetle is kind of lame. Spectral yeah, wolf is where it's at. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
All right. right so I'm, what are we supposed to be doing again? Uh, we're blowing up the factory with the astrolite. Okay. That's what we're here for. Is uh, we're putting the astrolite in the factory. That dude's gonna see me. 